bitches, don't it? What you expect? You know, baby, I just can't figure you out. How do you mean? Why'd you come out with me? You slumming or something? Well, what you doing with a cat like me in a joint like this? You don't think much of yourself, do you? Well, that's a funny thing to say, ain't it? Keep asking me why I'm here. Yeah, and you keep on not answering me, too. <laughs> well, I like a place with a lot of life. How about another beer? No, thanks. Come on, you can have one. Oh, hell. What is it? Well, if it ain't tough. How you doing? Hi there. Hi. You uh, mind if we sit down? We was just leaving, fellas. Come on, Jack. Oh, the man's got a homework. I'll see you around right Yeah, see you in hell. They must work on the section game. That's right. Well, it seemed just like everyone else. Hell, baby, I bet you think we got tails. We do. Come on, baby, let's get out of here. Sir. <laughs> School teacher, a nappy head. I guess it's hard working on the road like that. There's damn few places a man can make 80 bucks a week. I mean, you're kind of cut off, aren't you? It's fine with me. Keeps me out of trouble. How do you mean? Uh, I don't get on so well most places. I see. That beer made me dizzy. You got a lovely face, kid. Ain't too often I get a chance to meet a girl like you. Hell. Baby, how many times you been kissed now? Well, let's see now. Not counting tonight. Must be about 28 times. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem, all right. Hi. They doing anything? No, nothing. Get out of here. Don't duff. Relax, man. What's going on? Cut that out. I said, cut it out. Don't start no trouble, boy. Let's go. That's a preacher's girl. You mess with him, you get old man Johnson on your back. Come on. Let's go, Duff. Take it easy. sound human duty. How come you stay around here? Well, my mother was the only good teacher the college school ever had. Nobody bothers with those kids. That's why you come back, huh? It's hard to see any change, but I'm gonna stay. Another year, anyway. Got more guts than me, baby. It's no good time. It's better than it used to be. Eight years ago, they still had a lynching here. Tied a man to a car and dragged him to death. My father knew who did it. But he didn't say anything. Scared, huh?
Good night, baby. Not here, Doc. I get it. Yeah, I can see your old man with a shotgun right now. But I would like to see you again. You would, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, if I was you, baby, I wouldn't go around sticking out my juggler vein. What do you mean? Well, you almost got into trouble back there, you know. I wouldn't have let you. Oh, baby, I ain't in the third grade, you know. What are we going to do next time? We going to have a nice long chat in the parlor? No. On the porch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then what? What? Well, either we going to hit the hay or get married. Now, you don't want to hit the hay, and I don't want to get married. You have some very primitive ideas, don't you? All right, so I'm primitive. So what you want with me? Look, Doc, most of the men I know, they're kind of sad. When I met you the other day, I had the feeling that you're different. That's why I went out with you. I thought we might have something to say to each other. Hey, old baby. I don't know what to say. Good night, Doc. Are you finished, Jackie? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm not. Wait till class is dismissed. All right, class dismissed. It was real strange. <laughs> Japan's a long ways from Alabama. <laughs> really got under my skin, though. Almost didn't come back. Why did you? <laughs> I don't know. Guess I belong here more than there. <laughs> been up north? Yeah. I knocked around a couple of months after the army. You been there? No. Well, it ain't that good up there, neither. Might as well make it here. Of course, I ain't really making it now. Anyway, they can't get to you if you keep moving. <laughs> <laughs> This is Mr. Johnson, our school superintendent. How are you? I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, you're courting the preacher's girl, huh? <laughs> well, you just better watch your step, boy. He'll preach you right into hell. <laughs> I'm counting on you, Reverend. I understand. What'd you do for one of your people to sue at a time like this? I know. I'll talk to the mayor. That'll make the folks very happy. 
It's hard to know how to talk to the white folks these days. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it ain't never been easy. It's a changing times. Sit down, son. Thank you. Well, it looks like we'll be getting our new school. How come y'all ain't sending them all to the same school? Well, you've got to go easy. We haven't had any trouble in town for eight years. And we're not going to have any now. <laughs> Can't live without trouble, can you? It's a nice place you got here. It's real nice. Yes, the Lord has been pretty good to us. I guess you're a churchman, aren't you? Uh, I guess I ain't. Why? Don't you believe in the Lord? Oh, I do. It's just as... Seems to me us colored folks do a whole lot of church going. It's the white folks that need it real bad. I think if you try living in a town like this, instead of running free and easy, you'd soon change your tune. I doubt it. I see. Well, I guess you and I don't have much to say to each other now, do we? I guess not. And since we're talking, my wife and I don't want you hanging around our daughter. Well, that figures. That fits in with everything else, don't it? Sorry. It ain't your fault. That's the way he is. Yeah. It's just like I figured. What do you mean? Hell, I don't belong here. I don't know what I've been thinking. Look, Doug. If you're free, I'm not working tomorrow. Sorry, baby. I'm going to Birmingham. Just for the day? I'm going to see my kid. I didn't know you had one. Yeah. Well, I do. Are you married? 